Hey guys, what is up? It is Bib07 here again, and welcome to another RuneScape 3 vlog here today. In this video, I'm going to be talking about this week's patch notes, and uh, this video is actually kind of, I guess, going to serve as my hardcore update for this week as well. I know I didn't have a video out over the weekend for the hardcore, uh, and that is mainly because I didn't really have any clips, as I have just been woodcutting all week pretty much. Um, still playing some Path of Exile, doing a bunch of AFK stuff at the moment. Um, I've kind of not really, I don't know, it's not like I really don't want to play the game. Like, I'm still, I've been doing a lot of the AFKing. Like, I'm always online when I'm playing Path of Exile, which I've been playing a ton of. Um, so I have been doing quite a bit of woodcutting. I am currently 97, about halfway to 98. So I will probably be getting 99 before this weekend. And um, so that will probably be in my next video for the hardcore, um, which I'm pretty happy with. I kind of have always hated woodcutting, and it's actually not been too bad getting this 99 while playing PoE. Um, and then obviously I got fishing and cooking as well. Um, and mining and smithing back when I got those were while I was playing this game too. And I think if I do want to keep playing after I get 99 woodcutting, I'll probably go to RuneSpan and do some runecrafting there. Even though I do want to do quite a bit of my runecrafting through Abyss to get my rune pouches, um, I probably want to end up doing most of those as bloods anyway, which I don't have the level for just yet. And runecrafting is my lowest skill. On top of it being one of my few remaining AFK skills, unless you count, like crafting, because um, I don't really have much crafting XP anymore. I used most of it to get, um, I don't know why I got it up for exactly, I don't remember, but I did use most of my XP I had in my bank. Oh, I think I did that for the Amulet of Souls, if I remember correctly, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, do, I don't think I have much of it, and you know, obviously there, Harps is an option, but it's really, really slow, and I'd rather kind of get my materials from PVM, but honestly, we are getting quite close to max on this account, and, um, you know, I don't want to be held back by having to boss for supplies uh, necessarily, but either way, that's pretty much it for this week on the Hardcore. I haven't done a whole lot. Kept been catching a lot of Saren Spirits as well, thanks to the AFK Warden here on Alt-1, and, um, you know, getting quite a bit of actually some GP. I've gotten several huge plated rune salvage drops, uh, more than like 1x of it. Like sometimes you get like 20 plus at a time and put those in the Alk machine and, and stuff like that. And I've also actually been doing quite a decent bit of invention with this crystal hatchet. Um, I think I've gotten uh, just about two and a half levels so far. So that's been pretty good as well. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the hardcore this week. I usually will make a video weekly even if I don't have a whole lot of progress but this time it was literally just wood cutting so I don't know I just didn't feel like throwing that in as an entire video kind of would just have been a bit of a waste of one in my opinion so hope you guys can forgive me for that and of course this video is coming out quite late it might not actually be out until technically January 7th if I upload it past midnight uh, I didn't have much time after work to make this video nor on my lunch break so had to make it here late before I head off to bed, but uh, either way, glad to be getting it out. And we did get patch notes this week. It was just a patch week. I was um, honestly almost not expecting anything because I checked in the morning, and usually by the time it's like 9 a.m. my time or so, they've almost always done the update and posted the notes, and I hadn't seen it yet. Uh, so I was assuming it wasn't going to happen, but then it did get posted a little while after that. And um, yeah, there is really not much to speak of. Also, they never did a month ahead video or a year ahead video. I was expecting a month ahead video last week at some point, but we never did see that. Um, if they, I, I, I doubt they're going to be doing one at this point, but if they do, I'll obviously make a video on that. Um, I don't even know if there's any updates coming in January, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm really looking forward to archaeology to come out to kind of be a new thing to go for and stuff. Um, I don't know, like I'm still enjoying playing and I definitely am looking forward to the future of this account. Um, my bad luck at Rax was a little bit demotivating for my PVM grind, but I'm definitely going to be getting back on that fairly soon uh, once I, you know, get, uh, you know, I'm, I've been enjoying doing a bit of skilling, working towards max, so yeah, but definitely looking forward to archaeology. Um, it'll probably come out before I can get anywhere near max, so I'll need to do that before I can get into that, uh, that max guild, but anyways. 
Enough about me, let's move on to the weekly update information. Um, one thing that they mentioned on here that was apparently released a little bit ago, um, last month even, which I never even saw, what, so I'm glad they put this in the update post, um, the ranch out of time animal drop rates. So before the release from Big Game Hunter, they were 1 in 250, which is pretty rare for Big Game Hunter, of course. Uh, the Dinosaur Slayer monsters, they were 1 in 3,000 from those, and I actually got a, a Slayer monster egg for, uh, during that time, and I barely killed any, so that's kind of annoying, honestly, because I'd rather have gotten those boots, but still, that is uh, that was that. And then the Jadinkos were 1 in 1,000 for pre-release. And then after the release, the Big Game Hunter rates went all the way up to 1 in 65, so quite a big increase there, but still pretty rare for the amount of time it takes you to do the Big Game Hunter encounters. But, of course, we do now have the Hunter Mark purchase option. The Slayer Dinos is all the way down to 1 in 750, which isn't too rare, especially because I believe that's not in counting if you get the double drop on your Slayer task, so it wouldn't be too hard to get those ones, but they are also included in that Hunter Mark pool, I believe. And lastly are the Jadinkos, which are 1 in 500, which kind of, you know, gives me a little bit of a uh, little bit of blood boiling because I caught like 3.7k Jadinkos to get just three eggs. Um, thankfully, I got a male and a female in those three, but still, man, that was really annoying and, you know, I should have had reasonably like six or seven in that time frame if I was on drop rate. So, yeah, but um, it was a nice bit of Hunter XP, and now I have, um, you know, marble vines to last me until, you know, the heat death of the universe at this point. So it's not all bad, um, and I got a lot of Hunter marks from doing that too, as well as the Hunter pet. So, you know, can't complain too much, but those are the drop rates for those of you who might be interested. Um, so... Yeah, uh, it is pretty rare for most of those things, but not too, too bad if you really want to grind for them. Um, next up, they mentioned the activity pet poll winners were selected or, you know, chosen, whatever. I didn't really uh, get get involved in this poll. I didn't really see any of these ideas or anything, um, mainly because I don't really care about these pets. I think they're kind of lame, in my opinion. But um, they have a the area pet, which can adapt into different forms um, for different locations. Like, I, I just like, what area pet? What does that even mean? Like, is it just going to, you know, oh, you crossed a log in Artie. Here's the Artie skin for your area pet. Like, I don't know. I think it's just so stupid. But either way, we'll have to see how they end up implementing that. Um, then they have the clue scroll pet which I'm kind of split on, like, I, I wanted one in the game that you get from, like, a rare drop from opening clues, kind of, but, you know, they already have that clue dog that you can buy in the shop. Um, they I wish so much that they would make the clue dog pick up your clues for you. Like, that would make so much sense. It costs a ton of treasure trail points to buy it. Um, I don't know. I just wish they would make it have that nice little ability just to, you know, make it have a point. Other than that, people can examine it to see your clue count, which obviously isn't all that significant. But, yeah, it's like a deer type thing. And, I mean, it looks, the concept it, it looks pretty decent. I don't know. It, it seems like it's going to be a little bit of a strange thing that for them to make. Like, it depends how big they make it. Like, I feel like if this is like a small pet in this design, it won't look that good. But at the same time, I don't really like having humongous pets in this game. So it's kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of split on it. But we'll have to see how it ends up. Um, and I don't think they mention in here how you're going to be obtaining that. So there's that. Um, next up is the money-making pet, which is such a stupid idea as well. Almost as bad as the area pet. Um, actually, maybe worse. I'm not sure, but this is a the concept art for this one is just a magpie bird, and this honestly the drawing for this one looks really really good. Like whoever did this drawing is a pretty talented artist, but um, yeah, it's like a a, a magpie or no, it's a yeah, it is a magpie, which is one of the familiars in the game, and he's got a, a top hat and a monocle and a bow tie. So like you know, money making fancy. His name is Richie. Really, you know good epic memes and stuff I don't know I think the concept and the drawing and everything is really good but the, the the whole idea of the pet I just hate so either way that's that 
And then the last one is one that I thought was a good idea to have is the rune score pet. It's not really going to be a pet that in the sense of you have to like go for it and get it as a drop or anything. It's just going to be something that you unlock as you get your rune score and you can have it follow you and it'll display your rune score. The, um, the concept here has a little guy in full rune armor that upgrades as you get more rune score. So he starts in regular trimmed rune armor, then goes to gothics. Interesting how this person seems to rank the main three gods in their eyes as it goes from gothics to zami to Saradomen as you increase in rune score and then up to uh, gold trimmed rune armor at the end and he's holding a banner kind of like the banner imp from the champions guild and it says on it like you know this person has at least 5k rune score stuff like that i think it's a good idea to have this kind of pet as there are people who really go for those extra challenges for rune score that are available and It'll be nice to have the ability to show that off if they want. And uh, apparently each of these people gets a six free months complimentary membership for winning, which, you know, good for them, I guess. And that is just about it right there. Um, apparently there's a sale on bank boosters right now in Solomon's store if you're interested in that. I just figured I would mention that. But um, other than that, there are the couple of patch notes, if I can go to those um unfortunately they don't oh they do link them uh at the very top but there were not a whole lot of patch notes but there were a couple that i do want to mention off in here um they had some stuff for the yak track even though that event has ended i did not end up doing like any of it at all because it was kind of a pain in the ass like a lot of the tasks and i just didn't feel like you know, going out of my way to do it for the things that you got. But anyways, um, they made a couple of fixes to farming requests. There was a bit of like inconsistencies and strangeness that wasn't, you know, working as, I mean, I, I saw that happening personally on the day of release, but they do seem to be fixed now, hopefully. Uh, you know, anything, you know, that you should expect to be, you know, doable or usable to hand in for the contract should hopefully work at this point. Um, they also removed it, uh, you re they removed the ability to boost your Herblore level to do various things like, um, like getting more of the, uh, of the pulp and stuff from, actually, I don't know if, do you get more pulp from the fruit or do you get more extract from the pulp. I don't even remember which it is, but either way, you previously were able to boost to get that bonus or boost to get the cheaper recipes for the various power burst potions. That is no longer possible. You can still boost to make the original potions, but it's still going to have that recipe um, at the base level. So yeah, um, I don't know. I guess that that's kind of bad, but good and bad. I don't know, but what, it's honestly whatever because the power burst potions aren't that important in my opinion uh, anyways um, one thing that was really annoying to me that they fixed was the primal fruit will now prioritize the initial fruit that you click on when making primal fruit pulp uh, something that happened to me a couple times was I would do a farm run and I would do my red dragon fruits which I am keeping in my bank at the moment I mean I can obviously crush them into pulp later but you do need them for the primal feast which I'd like to make some of at the very least and um, I would also go pick my Siku trees for some more pulp and I would want to crush the Siku trees but if my red dragon fruits were first in my inventory and I clicked to crush the Siku tree fruits it would crush my dragon fruits first which kind of it was just like it didn't make any sense so I'm glad they fixed that um, although I, it still sounds like it will crush your your other fruits if you don't stop it in time I still think it should just crush the type of fruit that you clicked only just I mean that would make sense to me but I don't think that's the case at the moment um, other than that a couple of other small things um, didn't really see a whole lot else that was important in there I don't think they have fixed the issues with the uh, patch bomb and, and I think the farming cape with the rep and, and everything like that so hopefully that's working properly now um, they have some mobile fixes which I rarely read because they're never really relevant um, and they fixed a couple things with the daily challenge update that happened last month things like signs of the porter canceling out the daily challenge being counted and 
all that sort of stuff. Um, they've apparently fixed the uh, Creatures of Daemonheim Slayer task, which was previously kind of bugged and wouldn't allow you know one thing or the other to be killed on it. Hopefully it is now all-inclusive, as you'd expect. Um, also, something I thought was kind of strange, that gargoyles now count towards a demon cluster task, which, I mean, I don't know, I never thought of gargoyles as demons, but I guess it kind of makes sense that they could be considered that. Just was a little bit surprised to see that pop up on these patch notes here. Um, other than that, I do not think there was anything else. Yeah, we're coming to the bottom of the patch notes there, and that is just about everything. So, again, pretty lackluster week. Um, it was nice to see the winners of those polls, but, again, the pets I'm not too enthusiastic about personally. Um, but either way, um, the drop rates were good to see, although those were posted December 17th, and I just never saw them. Um, but, yeah, not the most exciting um week and we've kind of had a pretty you know dull past couple of months really um i mean december usually it's expected and we had you know 120 farming and herblore in, in november but i haven't had a whole lot of stuff to get too excited about and it doesn't seem this month is going to be any better i'm really hoping that the pvm hub at least comes out next month in february and we see then archaeology in march but I don't think that's even guaranteed, so we'll have to wait and see what goes down. But you guys can let me know how you're doing in the comments down below and what have you been working on in the game and all that kind of stuff. And what do you think of these pets ideas and the concepts that were voted for? Um, I personally just don't like the pet uh, ideas that they've chosen personally. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and continue woodcutting here till 99 and uh, then we will have, of course, a Hardcore Iron Man episode out next weekend for sure. Uh, apologies again that I didn't get one out this weekend. I just didn't feel that it was really warranted when I only did one singular thing for the whole week. Like, usually even if I don't get a whole lot of progress, I am definitely still going to post a weekly video just because I'd like to keep it consistent, but I just couldn't bring myself to do a video where I was just like, hey guys, we'll cut it all week. See you in the next video. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyways, that's, that's going to be about it for this video. You guys, again, let me, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.